Oh, there is no future in game development in India. It's such horse shit. What's up? How are you guys doing? I'm Rahul and a game maker. So if you really want to know who I am, just go to LinkedIn and search for Rahul Segel and you see my face there and just like click and you'll find out all about me. Basically, I'm a game designer. I've been making games for about 14 years. I'm also the founder of Gamer to Maker, which is an online game school. I'm making this video because I'm really irritated with all the dumb questions. I'm sorry, they're not dumb to you. I know I'm so sorry. But for me, they're like such dumb comments and questions that I hear all the time about making games and having a career in games right so i just decided to make this really like casual video and explain this shit as i know it to all of you you play games right you play video games you play beautiful triple a games you know you play god of war whatever and you're like i want to make games i want to be a game developer designer whatever and there's a lot of bullshit on the internet especially in india there's so much like stupidity around game development in india that i'm really frustrated and i decided to make this really like clear video to explain everything so you're probably going to have your feelings hurt in this video i'm so sorry about that this is going to be hard to listen to but you're going to know a lot of stuff at the end of it so i'm sorry in advance but let's go so the first thing, let's get this shit cleared out of the way. Scope of game dev, okay? I am tired of comments by on videos and all over the internet on Quora of people saying, Oh, there is no future in game development in India. You should become software developer. There are no jobs. There are no salaries. It's such horse shit that it's not even funny. Dude, there are people, I've seen young kids making 15 lakh rupees a month straight out of college, like six months of internship and they get a job as a game artist earning 15 lakhs. People are earning 30, 40, 50 lakhs in the game industry in all roles. It's just because Sharma uncle told you or your father doesn't know about game development or maybe I don't know you read some cranky video from some American YouTuber that the game industry is shit doesn't mean it's shit okay if you don't want to be part of the party you can just but the game industry in India is rocking it and it's going to be rocking it there are hundreds of studios there's tons of investment things are growing and growing and growing so if you don't have the balls to actually do the work to get into the game industry that's fine well i hope i got that out of the way so there are like 300 400 game studios in india there are some really big names there's electronic arts there's ubisoft there's rockstar there's zynga and there are so many indian game studios which are funded in which you can get a really good job you can do well you can get bonus salary perks travel the works as good as some shit it job or maybe better than that i mean come on making games is amazing guys making games is just so good because if you love playing games making game is the best job in the world i'm not even kidding even if you're making mobile games or making like casino games or whatever game making whether you're an artist or a programmer or whatever is really 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 good it's very satisfying and i was there like i did a shitty job that gave me money but i didn't enjoy for a long time and once i got into game i realized that it is so good it's so satisfying to have a job that you really love but here's the thing it's not easy nothing good is easy right so if you think you can get into game development just like that or get a job just like that just because you want to well that's obviously not going to happen okay next up job or indie because i know a lot of people say oh i don't want to get a job in a game company i want to start my own game studio and that's fine you can totally start your own game studio you can make games on your own but do you think if you're some kid that's just started off or you're like just finished college you're in college you play video games and you download unity or you download unreal and you have some crazy game idea about god of war meet some crazy game that you're going to build your dean project and you just like download unity and you start building that by yourself with a couple of friends do you really think you're going to succeed at that no of course not you're not going to because making games is incredibly technical it's a very challenging thing it's a lot of fun but you have to learn that shit okay you have to learn that shit and the best way of learning that shit 
for free is getting a job. Join a game studio, right? And learn that shit. Make games for them and get paid for learning. So if you really want to be an entrepreneur, if you really want to be an indie or you start your own game studio, the best way to do it is first get a job. Swallow your ego. Understand you're not hot shit. You don't know anything get a job learn stuff build your network learn how to make games get people on your side and then start your own studio that's obviously how it's supposed to be done okay next up how do i learn game development now dumbasses on the internet will be like oh i'm going to watch a youtube video i'm gonna watch this awesome list of youtube videos this playlist by this person who put these videos out there and i'm gonna learn from those and then i'm gonna build a game and i'm gonna learn the tools and i'm gonna learn unity or unreal or maya or blender and then i'm a game developer or artists would say you know what i want to be a game artist so i'm going to watch some blender videos and i'm going to learn the tools and then i'm going to make a little bit of portfolio i'm going to make some models put them up on the internet and then i'm going to get a job right well no that's not how it works like do you know what i mean do you think you can become a doctor by watching videos of surgery no you have to learn it hard code you have to learn it properly you have to do practical stuff remember the one funda of the video game industry and that is and that is also mantra of gamer to maker which is my own game game school the only way to learn how to make video games is to actually make them you have to make video games right you have to work you have to acquire the skills not by just watching the tools the tools any here on the internet can watch a video and learn how to use blender or unreal or maya or unity right it's super easy it's like learning how to drive a car is not just about knowing how to turn the steering wheel and the clutch and the pedal you have to learn how to drive on the road in rush hour in hyderabad in high tech city right that's how do it so similarly if you want to learn game dev okay internet can teach you some tools but to really go deep and learn how to use those tools how to work in a team you actually have to learn from someone who knows that shit so the best way to learn is to actually build games and the next question will be oh what if i can build i can build a game by myself right well you can do that but no one's going to give you a job for that because you're going to build some shitty little game some clone game some tiny little game that any yeah on the internet can do that right there are so many people making these small games from the internet by watching videos why would a game company why would a game studio hire someone like you they want people who have worked in a team because remember game development is not a solo sport like okay solo game developers are like one in a million successful ones but games are made by people in teams so if you really want to learn game development you have to build a game in a team now you might ask me but where am i going to find a team on the internet well that video that well that answer is a separate answer which i'm going to probably do in a different video okay so this is like <laughs> this really irritates the shit out of me when people tell me this oh i've done my graduation rahul and now papa is sending me to college abroad i'm going to my masters in game dev abroad and then what's your plan oh after that i'm going to get a job in the game industry probably the triple i games in the us or canada no you're not you're going to be driving a taxi or you're going to be a security guard dude this is not software industry you can't just do a masters abroad in game dev and get a job because that is academic knowledge right you go to a game studio and you say well here's my masters degree they're going to like use it for wiping their ass and then they're going to be like okay so what skills do you have do you know anything about game development you're like um a little bit i learned about college edit and they're going to tell you to off because they want you to have experience experience actually building game so masters abroad is completely useless okay there is one condition in which this is actually useful if you have experience if you've been making games you've got a job for 5 6 7 years you've got good solid job experience and then you go abroad and do your masters what happens is that you get a work permit and then you can actually look for jobs abroad with the master so that's the only Okay, so if you're just out of college or you're out of school, like you just finished your graduation, you're like, I want to go abroad and do masters in game development. Well, no, like that's not going to work. Okay. okay, game colleges, Rahul, what's the best game dev college in India? What where shall I go? And I'm like, dude, there is no, there is no 
good game college in India doesn't exist. You will find tons and tons of websites with beautiful websites and brochures. There are some really, really big names in the game industry, not the game industry, who have like six month courses for three and a half lakhs, very, very big name. And what they do is that they will just download that shit from the internet, a curriculum. They'll spend a few lakhs. They'll get a beautiful brochure. They'll put some nice big names on the website and they're like, oh, we do, we teach this and game development and game design. And they have no idea what they're doing all right the scene in india is really really shit i'm so sorry to say that there are a number of universities out there there are a number of institutes out there doing game design game development courses but they are not good which is basically why i started game to maker so yes this is a plug and if you don't like it well whatever so i started game to maker because it's the only authentic game development institute in india we are certified by the government we are 100 online yada yada you can check out the website whatever but that's not what this video is about the option is unfortunately you learn by yourself or you go to a college and you blow three to four lakhs five lakh rupees and then you come to game to make and say rahul i've spent five lakh rupees you know anything so please teach me and that happens a lot trust me so yeah sorry bad news but that's the truth yeah that's it that's the big one people now if you want to join the game industry if you want to get a job at a game studio that is everything what exactly is this a portfolio is basically your work whatever work you've done it's a demonstration of your skill so somebody should be able to just click and go to your portfolio and learn all about you understand your skill level who are you right what have you done what do you know about the work that you were supposed to be doing in the job that they're going to give you that's your portfolio I actually have a video talking about portfolios right here so do check it out if you want to learn about what a good portfolio should look like but here's the thing a lot of you come to me and saying oh rahul i have a portfolio especially artists right they come to me and say oh rahul i have a portfolio but i'm not getting a job and then i go to the portfolio and it's f crap like it's just four models which they made by watching some youtubes and they have like four or five 3D models or some shitty sketches in a portfolio and they're like, oh, I built a portfolio, you're not getting a job. Well, yeah, you're not getting a job because you suck. Your portfolio sucks. You don't have the skills. For a game development portfolio, you have to build a very specific kind of portfolio. You have to show low poly models. You have to be very specific as to the kind of studio want you want to join. So just throwing together a few pieces of art that you made on art station call, calling it your portfolio and then crying on the internet that i'm not getting a job that is just dumbassery okay if you want to build a pro portfolio it takes time it takes focus it's a lot of work right but once you get there once you build a good portfolio companies will be chasing you down to give you a job. All this stuff, all this game dev stuff, all this game career stuff, it's doable if you know what you're doing. If you're just listening to random people on the internet, obviously you're gonna cry and you're gonna go and do something else. But if you really wanna put the effort into it, you can do it, I promise you. And if you need help, you know, if you have a few lakhs to invest in education, if you wanna get a diploma, if you want my help, if you wanna have the help of my team, we are there, right? The link is right there. Check it out. Otherwise, learn by yourself, work hard, figure stuff out, work with teams. Also, make sure you subscribe to this channel because I have a lot of stuff, a lot of content. Also, my Instagram is there. Links are on the bio. So check out my Instagram. You'll keep getting gyan on like game development and game design and stuff. So yeah, I guess that's it. I hope I didn't offend you too much. So I'll see you guys. Let's go.